Good afternoon, everyone. I, I will say, if you're a leader in a faith community and a member of your youth group comes and says, I want my rock band to play at my church, you say yes. <laughs> it's really wonderful. Um, and they're good. So, so first of all, thank you so much for being here. My name is Mike Kinman. My pronouns are he, him. I'm the rector, the senior pastor uh, here at All Saints Church. Um, it, is, it just fills my heart to see this place so full. Um, and we are in such a difficult time. And I feel like we've been saying that more and more for the past three years, and it just keeps getting uh, more and more difficult. And as, as we have gone through these last several months, um, I've been guided by, first of all, the hope. And by hope, I don't mean, gee, I hope so, but the sure and certain hope that Islam is a religion of peace and Judaism is a religion of peace and Christianity is a religion of peace. And there is ground of peace on which we all stand together and we can stand together. I'm reminded of Dr. King's words that violence only begets violence, adding further darkness to a night already devoid of stars. And that is why we at All Saints Church are calling for a ceasefire and the release of all hostages in Gaza because all that is happening right now is violence is begetting more violence. Children are dying, families are being separated, and trauma is leading us into more trauma. And I'm also reminded of something else Dr. King said, which is he said, a riot is the language of the unheard. And sometimes we resort to violence when we have been shouting and no one has been listening to us. And so it is not enough that we call for a ceasefire. We need to listen deeply to each other. We need to understand each other, each other's history, each other's narratives, each other's passion, each other's pain. And so I was thrilled when Salam you came to me and asked if All Saints would host this wonderful event, the Islamic Narrative on Jerusalem uh, and Palestine. Because there has not been a lot of listening to this narrative. And we need to hear, we need to understand, we need to understand how we can sit with each other, not just in this crisis moment, but for the time to come. And we're looking forward in early 2024 to having another event. We're gathering some really wonderful progressive Jewish leaders in this city. Um, and we're gonna do another session of deep listening. Um, you know, the, the easy soundbite narratives, those aren't hard to find. They're all over the internet. They're generally caricatures and I find them very unhelpful. What you're going to get today is an in-depth narrative and I just, I, I, I urge all of us not just to open our ears and our minds, but our hearts um, and to sit with and, and deeply appreciate the people who are here opening up their stories for us to hear. So I'm definitely not the person you came here to see and hear. And so uh, can we, first of all, welcome and give thanks to Salam al Mariati. <laughs> founder and co-president of the Muslim Public Affairs Council. And Salam, I'm going to hand it over to you. Thank you.